A new element has now been added to the battle to legalize same-sex marriage here in New Jersey. The IRS now saying that all legally married same-sex couples will be allowed to file joint tax returns. Joining us now is the executive director of Garden State Equality, Troy Stevenson. We welcome you back to the program. Did this surprise you? Uh, no, actually, it didn't. Um, it, it was an expected decision. It's a great decision for couples that are married in 13 states in the District of Columbia. But not for those in New Jersey exactly. married elsewhere. Will uh, that apply to them? It will apply to those married elsewhere. But, but not those with civil not unions. Not those with civil unions. It's, it's crystal clear. The, the decision made it absolutely clear that civil unions and domestic partnerships are not equal to marriage and they never will be in the eyes of the federal government. In your legal quest, to right. get things changed in this state, does this decision by the federal government uh, under the, you know, the equal treatment of the Constitution clauses, things like that, does this help you in any way try to accomplish your goal? I absolutely think it should. It really should. It shows that civil unions are unequal. It shows that New Jersey has created this second-class citizenship for same-sex couples. It shows that uh, in order to get full federal benefits, we are going to have to have full marriage equality in New Jersey. And the point you made a moment ago, somebody say, um, a same-sex couple legally married, say, in California, right. but living in New Jersey, would be able to file a joint return. Right, but, but they would have to file a, a separate return for the state of New Jersey. Yeah, right. exactly. So there is, so it, it creates a complication to the same point. But you, you think this does accelerate I think it should help. It okay. should help a lot because it, it clearly states in the decision that civil unions are not equal. Uh, I want to talk to you about the uh, U.S. Senate race here. You've had some uh, very strong remarks to talk, say about uh, the Republican candidate Steve Lonigan and his comments about uh, what Cory Booker has had to say right. when it comes to sexual orientation. Right. Uh, we had Mr. Lonigan on the program yesterday. He insists he's not homophobic. He insists he's not anti-gay. And his contention is, is that perhaps Mayor Booker is being intentionally ambiguous about his orientation for political purposes. Do you uh, see anything to that at all? I don't think it's any of, of Mr. Lonigan's business, but for him to say he's not homophobic, he needs some training in how to speak to people because not only was it homophobic, it was misogynistic, and it tells young girls, it tells LGBT youth that, that there's something wrong with them. In order to be a real man or in order to be somebody that he sees as an equal, you have to be smoking cigars and, and drinking scotch and acting in some 1950s stereotypical way. It was really offensive on so many levels, and I think he doesn't need to just say he's not homophobic. He needs to apologize for the comments. There have been some, though, both in the gay community and in the press in general, for that matter, who say, you know, Mayor Booker kind of brought this up uh, right. when he talked about uh, how he is intrigued by some people speculating about his orientation, and he finds it kind of wonderful that they would uh, think that perhaps he was gay. Uh, would, you, would you like to see him come out or not come out one way or the other? Do you think that's important for him, both as a candidate, uh, as a mayor, as an individual? I don't, I don't think that the mayor has ever said that he was gay. I think he's made it very clear uh, yeah. in the past. I think he was making a point to the fact yeah. that it shouldn't matter. I don't think that this was some sort of ambiguity because of, of the mayor's sexuality. I think that this was the mayor saying that young people today should know that it doesn't matter. They can be who they are and true to themselves and grow up to be the next senator from the state of New Jersey. Uh, i got to tell you, I mean, for me personally as, as a journalist, it's a question that I don't, I don't think I've ever even brought up before because right. it's none of my business right. and I strongly believe that. But, but the fact that it's become an issue puts us into this kind of almost uncharted territory. Right. And, and uh, with his degree of popularity both in and out of the gay community, one wonders how you would grade him in terms of his handling of this controversy. I think it's absolutely amazing. He didn't shy away from the question. He didn't get offended by the question. So often in the past, people have, when asked about if they were gay, um, they have taken offense. They have acted like there was something shameful about that question. And the mayor deserves a lot of credit for not only saying it, it doesn't matter, but uh, he's not offended by somebody saying that. What would it matter? Why, why should it be a negative? And I think it was a great response. Well, we appreciate you coming in. Thank Look you. Look forward to talking to you again. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much.